We often remember to clear the dust on the surfaces of our chairs, books, tables, even when our ear itches, we remember to remove some of the ear wax, but we often forget to dust our lungs. Good day lovely people, this is Fitness Trail coming to you once again with informative and educative videos on your health. Sit back, relax and enjoy. Today's episode is on how to cleanse your lungs and I bet you will learn a lot out of this video. So remember to subscribe, like, comment and also share our videos to make sure others enjoy. Thank you this and this and that yes this i mean this they are dusty right you bet these objects have been lying here for just a minute in this environment imagine if you were in that same environment for just a minute how would your respiratory tract look like and how would your lung, the major recipient, look like? And although your body has mechanisms at play to get rid of pollens, of substances that get into the respiratory tract, you also have to meet your body halfway in ensuring that a good job is done. That means you have to employ the artificial mechanisms of ensuring the natural remedies are working. I'm sure the questions on your mind this moment is how often do you need to dust your lungs? Well, the answer is simple. You know, you know partly because you know the exposure you are in areas with huge amount of dust especially where you reside more often or where you spend most of your 24 hours at is the area dusty or is the area neat well you know especially those who work at the mines and those who work with a lot of dust or those who work in areas where there are a lot of people, certainly there will be other pollens or other agents that could settle on the respiratory tract. Lifestyle activities could also warrant the need to dust your lungs. Heavy smokers especially need this exercise because their respiratory tract is exposed to a lot of smoke thereby occluding their tract so how then do you detox your lungs or how then do you clean your lungs the first point i would like to talk about is steam therapy or inhalation therapy it involves heating water to boiling point and inhaling the vapor thereof it's probably advisable to use a towel or cloth to cover your head over the surface of the steam this can be done for about five minutes well i do it for 10 minutes the second point is controlled coughing coughing is the body's natural way of expelling toxins that have been trapped in the respiratory tract but this mechanism can also be used artificially to get rid of toxins this is how it's done sit down in a chair with the shoulders relaxed keeping both feet on the floor flat then fold your arms over the stomach. Slowly inhale through the nose. Exhale out while leaning forward, pushing the arms against the stomach. Cough two or three times while exhaling, keeping the mouth slightly open. 
slowly inhale through the nose. Rest and repeat as necessary. The third point involves draining the mucus from your lungs, also known as postural draining. There are three postures at play, on your back, on your stomach, and on your side. So for that on your back, lie down on the floor or on a bed. Place pillows under the hips to ensure that the chest is lower than the hips. Slowly inhale through the nose and exhale through the mouth. Each exhale should take twice as long as the inhale, which is called 1.2 breathing. The ratio is 1 to 2 breathing. Continue for a few minutes. The second posture is for lying on one side. Lie on one side, resting the head on an arm or pillow. Place pillows under the hips. Practice the one is to two breathing pattern. Continue for a few minutes. Repeat on the other side. Now for the one on your stomach. Place a stack of pillows on the floor. Lie down with the stomach over the pillows. Remember to keep the hips above the chest. Fold the arms under the head for support. Practice the one is to two breathing pattern. Continue for a few minutes. The next point I would like to talk about is exercise. Exercises enables your muscles to work harder for increase in breathing rate which results in greater amount of oxygen supplied to your muscles. This improves circulation and makes efficient breathing that helps in getting rid of carbon dioxide. The next point is by taking green tea. Green tea has some antioxidants that helps in getting rid of inflammation to your lungs. The next point is by taking anti-inflammatory foods. Anti-inflammatory foods are turmeric, leafy greens, cherries, blueberries, olives, walnuts, beans, lentils, and a lot. This is where the journey ends. Now, when it comes to your respiratory health, you need to take it seriously because a little hit could cause you to break down. And in respiratory health, many people think that is not sickness, but it's sickness. I call it the macho man's sickness because you'll be walking around with a respiratory condition, but many people will think you are healthy. So safeguard your respiratory system to ensure longevity. This is fitness trail reaching out to you. Ensure that you enjoy our videos. You watch and learn. You share to everyone. Everyone needs to hear this info. Till we meet again, it's bye.